and then um, I'm two years, a, of two years, and then I've been, I started doing motivational speaking earlier this year, but then it's my passion ever since I was in high school. <laughs> so basically I'm just following what I love, and then I'm enjoying what I'm doing. At the age of 20 years, and you just used to go to a motivation industry, you want to give life to other people. Is it not too late? Is it too not in? Okay, as I was coming here to study, I was thinking something, something came into my mind. Many people uh, have this excuses of saying, maybe I'm too old or too young. Yeah. But then, let me quickly say that all excuses, you just need to accept that all excuses are lies. Because, listen, I'm too busy, I'm too old, uh, I'm too young. That's a lie. Or right. really, even when girls say, uh, I'm too busy, I can't be able to see you. That's a lie. That's a lie. Cause <laughs> <laughs> no, let me highlight it for you to understand what I'm meaning. <laughs> we derive or we delay our success because of excuses. But then one thing I like about excuses is that we all have excuses. Mm -hmm. So we must stop complaining and starting acting right now. Mm -hmm. Because it's now or never. Like if I'm saying, okay, I wanna be a motivational speaker at the age of twenty five, what if at the age of twenty five I have too much responsibilities that I cannot have time to be a motivational speaker? Yeah. So I'm saying to all listeners that whenever you have a passion, whenever you have something you love, it's time to do it now or it's never. So to you, you're not late, you are right on time. I'm late but I'm happy. Because since right now is actually a uh, first day and then you're doing spirituality, I would like to say that God delays are delivery. Mm. There is a reason why I'm not delayed, but then I thank God that I took a step forward. Mm. So, uh, you know, uh, people, uh, when it comes to motivation, they focus on different angles. Which angle are you focusing on? Are you... Uh, I just want to make Jesus famous. I just want to talk about my life experience. I want to bring life to those uh, orphanages and so forth and so forth. Which angle are you taking as a motivational speaker? Okay, good question. I'm basically focusing on personal development. Personal in, development. Yes, in this sense, that right, I want to make sure that a black child is aware of his capabilities, his abilities and talents. And then he actually nurtures those kind of talents. And on that one, what do you think is making a black child not to realize that they are capable of certain things in life? Okay, one, it might be hierarchy. Two, it might be the issue of lack of courage. Lack Three, of courage. Yeah. Three, it might be low self-esteem and all of that. Because number one, you must be aware that there are certain sports which even right now I still feel like why they're still dominating this particular sport. Mm. But I'm basically happy on the issue of rugby that the captain of rugby in South Africa yeah, is a black person. Yeah. So I'm basically happy with that. But the first black person after a 24 years of democracy. Yes. So meaning that that sport is still even right now dominated by a white person. You know, we still have this ideology of you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then I'm saying to a black child, Joe, you can do it. Regardless of the hierarchy, regardless of the upper date being successful in making us believe that some of the things are not for us. But then I'm saying that we must remove that kind of mentality. But some of those things are the ones that they came during the apartheid regime government. Because some of those sporting codes like football and so rugby are the uh, sporting codes that come with white people. Why do you want to make us to believe that that thing is also ours we can be able to do it? Okay. A tricky question indeed. But I don't want you to be out of the angle. Yes, yes, yes. There is uh, this video which trends, I think it was, I forgot the name, but then it was the kind of president of Zimbabwe or something. Yeah. Like Nazon Mukala, I don't know. Who, he made an English error, but I like that video. Wait, but if Zimbabwe did it, we are going to do it. I'm not sure if you know the kind of video. So meaning that if you, you can, I also can, regardless of my skin color. Mm. If you can, I can also can. That's how simple this thing is. So we must start to take an action to say that if he can do it, I can also do it. You started your motivation this year? Yes. 
how can you describe your achievement up to so far? Uh, what have you achieved? Up to this far, I will say I'm very happy with how my page is going, number one. Two, I achieved a lot of fans. Like, I'm, I'm very honored and I'm saying shout out to my fans. To, for the I, love I and support. Because uh, you see yes. that they're uh, 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 the, 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 the showing some love on their SMB. And they're actually listening to me. I, I'm quite happy and I'm sure about it. Okay. Yeah. I have a certain number. It's Vodacom number. Uh, the charge is not even one round fifty. It's around fifty cents and forty cents. And if you have a free Vodacom number, you can be able to uh, to, to send. Let them send those SMS on the following number: zero six zero nine zero eight four six seven five. Continue to send those SMS so that you just have to give now. And okay, that's your own personal achievement. But um, let's look on the career itself. Uh, has ever other people come to you and confess that you are giving life back to us? Yes, you know I'm very happy. Uh, I actually hoped I'm going to meet Mr. Mujela. I mean Mr. Mujela. Mujela today, but uh, I'll see. I have to meet him some other time. Because mm. the more I engage on various activities like radio stations, the more I meet new people. Mm. For example, there is William from Twan FM who hosts morning shows. He came to me and said, you know, my guy, you're going very far. There are other people. And let's go uh, to the crowd. The people that you are directing their motivation to them, not about radio presenters, but uh, some of them they already gain self-esteem. That's why they are into radio. Yes. Do they even come and say, hey, you are giving life to us? Uh, yesterday I was at the run I learned high school, a school in Karangu was in four, yeah. and then I was doing a motivational speaking then. I actually received a kind, a positive kind of ado, and then there is a girl who actually invoked me on my page to say, you know what, I'm very inspired and I'm very motivated by your speech. Mm. So basically I received a lot of positive feedback from what I do and my work. And, and I'm quite happy. Okay, uh, coming from? okay. Uh, as in like an institution or I, I mean uh, from them. Okay, you are relocating to Lubako in the book, but then I was raised in Mostorlos. 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 Yes. And around here? Yeah. Around here I'm based in Harangua because I'm um, a TBT Harangua. Okay, I understand. I understand at the moment. And let's go. What do you want to achieve actually? Up to so far, you just received an SMS from the second girl saying that I'm inspired by your work. And some people, it just they, they didn't have uh, the way that they can be able to communicate with you. And what do you want to achieve? You are not, we're not personally in this uh, motivation uh, and stuff. Okay, firstly, I will say that my I will be happy. Very, very happy mm. if I can gather as much as Lord black people because that's the way my main focus is to raise, you know, to reach their full potential. I'm mm. happy when I see somebody succeeding and reaching his or her own potential. Mm. So I'll be very, 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 very happy if they are. Can I change a lot of uh, black people mindset and then to just to shift things around to say, guys, we can also do. Yeah, you are capable of everything, mm -hmm. actually. Just like Mandela, Joe. Mandela was is one of my role models, actually. Yeah. With the likes of Mandela, Ben McKay is kind of the number one role model. Ben McKay. Ben McKay. As okay, much as I'm not into sports. It's got to uh, got to eight. Let me just go to eight when you come on there, but for that after our conversation. Alright. Okay. Okay. In the edition of which we are talking about the issue uh, that you are currently uh, busy with the project of motivating. Do you have any uh, current uh, activities that you are going to be able to do up to so far? Okay. Okay. I'm currently working on opening a foundation by MGL Foundation, meaning Magali Foundation, mm -hmm. and then I'll be collaborating with a lot of institutions like Men's Health and then other speakers because I wanna. Okay, it's kind of a men for Amel by will be speaking about personal issues that men face. Mm -hmm. Things like, for example, most speakers that I'm focusing on with the youth side. Things like absent fathers. Things like how to deal with anger. Because uh, my main focus is that I want to decrease the level of single parents, number one. Yeah. I also want to remove the level of violence. Please by remove men. also psycho boyfriend relationship. <laughs> 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 I know, I noted that, I noted that. 
So that's a kind of forum that I wanna op open so that we as men might come into this space and then mm. we discuss such issues. So like the issue, one burning issue that I have is the issue of crying as a man. You know, mm. I believe that men might, it's high time they must start crying. Because <laughs> if, if, no, look at this angle. Yeah. I, I really adore and respect women. Because whenever they hurt, they cry. Mm. So crying makes them, getting, they make them to heal number one. And then they make them to, they allow themselves to feel the pain. So we as men, whenever you have getting anger issues, what you think about is alcohol, what you think about is drugs. So that's why you, you find many men beating women because right now you start the actual anger is within you. You never allow yourself to feel the pain and to go through the emotion. Yeah. So I'm saying to guys as much as I don't know they might hate me, but then I'm saying to them, <laughs> is that time you, you cry, guy, you cry. If they dump you, oh I find a corner, cry. Just, just cry, just, just cry. You, you will find a solution. One thing about crying is that after crying you are able to find a solution, you know what I'm saying? Actually, but then if you just be angry, be like, you know, what thank you to like, no, 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 no. I'm you decreasing the level of violence? Yeah. So right now, it's high time we start crying. Let's just go and cry. Yeah, that's the solution. I, I, I think that will be one of those that will be genuine, but uh, I just lost the formula on how to cry, because it's been long without crying, so you <laughs> tend to lose those formulas on how you can be able to cry. But it's an important issue, man. It's an important it's issue. Uh, issue. It means that you're going to be the voice of men outside there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what uh, I'm planning to, because there are a lot of platforms, but then we as guys, because right now, check it out. We are most, in South Africa, mostly we are focusing on women. This issue of saying we're giving women an opportunity to give the women a platform. But then we're still forgetting the issue that we're still also forgetting the men who, as who some of us still think that we are the head of the house and then my weight is final. All those kind of issues. Those are kind of issues that we must take on to say, no, guys, we must allow for discussion in a, in a relationship in a household. Because just because you're a man doesn't mean your decision is more with you. Just because you're a man doesn't mean your decision is the how. So we must reach a consensus as Mahali and my person to say, uh, we're doing one, two, three, we're doing two, three. And I also have to allow her to make her, her own decisions. We just left with five minutes with uh, Mahali uh, Mulala on, uh, on the network. Yeah, I'm busy uh, trying to find uh, what is it that you are going to advocate to people. If we just have a question for uh, Mohali, you can just be able to do so by sending us an SMS on the phone number 60 904 Mukhali, so according to you, um, an open discussion or an, an open argument, it must, be, it must be allowed in the relationship uh, between a, 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 a boy and a girl. Yeah, because check it out. Eh? One thing I like about women is one. They're very patient with men. <laughs> and they're very clever. 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 <laughs> women are very smart, my brother. I don't lie to you. Because yeah. check it out. He might be seeing things, but not telling you. <laughs> and he's kind of hiding them from you just for the sake of the relationship. There are many times where women stand in uh, into things that are supposed to be done by men. And then uh, we as men, they are very less, if you can check the level of single parents, there is a high volume of women than men. Women who are good at running. Yeah. They are uh, I, know, I know about that one, I know about that one. And um, it's all the best men uh, towards your foundation of which uh, I hope uh, all the best for, for this one. MGL Mohal uh, Mulan Foundation of which it will be one of the uh, foundation that will be able to establish up to so far. And, so, uh, immediately when you, uh, you'll be able to establish it, uh, you can just be able to come back to us. And let's go to the topic that I'm talking about today. Our faith to God. Amen. Your own personal perspective. I'm sorry to take you out of the content. Your own personal perspective on this issue. Uh, my own personal view on the issue of faith. To I will refer you to... I think it's James. Don't think. Let's say it's James. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't commit myself. Yeah. But I, I still think it's, it's James where he talks about faith. Mm. So one thing I like about faith is one. Faith can drive you and help you to do a lot of things. 
like number one, I always had faith in myself and in God that whenever I have God, there is nothing that I can stop. And mm. regardless of whether people are not supporting me or whatever, but then I know if I have the support from God, then I'm fine. Mm. So according to me, people must start to follow their conscience. The inner voice, what is it that they're telling me? Because most of South Africans that right now we are driving from the issue of faith. Mm. You know, when they're saying Mal is making miracles or going to Mahal. You just run well, just But then uh, the, the, the reason why it. I put the issue of faith in God is because of such thing where people are running around for miracles, they're running around for breakthrough, and they forgot the issue of salvation. Yeah, 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 that's that's true. And then what I like to say is that if you can check also, in, I think it's in Luke also, whereby when Jesus came back, he was walking around with the disciples, two disciples, they were not aware that it's Jesus. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, what I like to say is that a lot of times you're not aware that you're actually leaving Jesus where you come from and you're actually going to look for Jesus where you're not there. And your last word to the listeners? My last word to the listeners is that, guys, please do support me. I do have a page on Facebook, it's MGL, The Motivator. That's where I do my motivational Thursdays and my motivational Sundays. And then number two, you can also search my, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search MGL and then you get everything. MGL the motivator, you get everything. And then three is that, guys, please do follow your passion, follow your dream. Stop making excuses, stop complaining. The time is now or never. So to all the listeners, I say, guys, make it a point that you live to your full potential. One thing I like to say is that I want my obituary to at least be two pages. <laughs> that, that even in those two pages they summarize yeah. everything. Like he went to teach, not to an investor of technology, was it too, too long? Is that long? He went yeah, to, to teach. T-U-T. So meaning that whenever that you leave behind is the one that people will remember you. I don't remember going to a funeral and they say Magali had one billion in his, in his account or yeah. Magali has four cars. You don't talk about kind of thing. You won't remember your cars. You remember the legacy you leave behind. Thank you very much for your attention and a safe departure to where you are going, right? No, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. This was more Khaled Mulala speaking about his.